Let's balance the redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus SO2 gives us this Mn2 plus and HSO4 minus. The first thing we do when we're balancing these redox reactions, we write the oxidation numbers for each element. That looks like this. If you need help with oxidation numbers, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. Once we've written the oxidation numbers, we can write the half reactions for each species of interest. These are the ones that have changed. That look like this. So here the manganese went from plus 7 to plus 2. This becomes a smaller number. This has been reduced. The sulfur here went from plus 4 to plus 6. That number got bigger, so that's oxidized. And you can see we have two oxygens here and four here, so that makes sense. At this point, we'll balance the half reactions using this kind of set of steps here. So first we balance the atoms of interest, the ones that have changed. We have one magnesium atom on both sides, one sulfur on both sides. Those are good. Now we can balance the oxygen atoms by adding water to each side. I have four oxygen atoms here, so I need to add four water molecules. The oxygens are balanced on this side. Let's add two water molecules over here. Now we can balance the hydrogen atoms. We're an acidic medium here, so we're going to add hydrogen ions to balance out those hydrogen atoms. We have eight here, so we need eight hydrogen ions here. We have two times two, four here, and we only have one here. Let's add three on this side. Now we've balanced hydrogen. We need to balance the electrons because this is redox and we're really interested in atoms and electrons. So we're going to add electrons to each side to balance the charge. This is a little tricky because we have to take into account our ions here. So I have eight positive charges here and this negative one that is on this ion here. So I have a plus seven here. Over here I have a plus two. If I had five electrons, that'll be eight minus five minus one. So I'll have a plus two here and a plus two here. The charge is balanced. It's a little bit tricky. Over here it's a little bit easier. We have a minus one on the ion and then three positive charges. Let's just add two electrons here and now the charge on this side it's balanced. We have a net charge of zero here and net charge of zero here. Those are the real difficult parts, places people really have problems. At this point we balance the overall equation for the electrons, for the charge. Think of it this way. Right here we have our reactants. These are all reactants and they're reacting to form our products here. We're trying to balance the redox reaction. We have five electrons here in the reactants and only two in the products. That's not balanced. Here's how we fix it. We need to get the same number of electrons in the reactants and the products. Really the only way to do that is if I multiply all of this by two, that would give me 10 electrons, and then multiply all of this by five. Five times two is 10 electrons. So that would give us the balanced charge. Then we could simplify the half reactions. So I'm going to multiply two times everything here, five times everything here. Then I'm going to write my reactants and my products, and we can simplify. That'll look like this. So let's simplify this now. And remember, on the top, these right here, they're the reactants. And on the bottom, they're the products, two times this and five times this. We have 10 electrons in the reactants, 10 electrons in the products. We can cross those out. I see I have 16 hydrogen ions here and only 15. So I'm going to cross these out and then just make this one hydrogen ion. And we don't write the one by convention. I have 10 water molecules here and 8 here. So let's get rid of these and make this a 2. But everything else is unique. So I'll clean this up and we'll have our balanced redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus SO2. <laughs> so here we are with our final redox, balanced redox reaction. You'll note that charge is the same. I have 1 plus and then 2 times 1 minus. So that's 1 minus. So I have a negative 1 charge here. Here I have 4, 2 times 2 plus is 4 plus, 5 times the 1 minus, so I have a 1 minus here. Charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. So you know you're correct when you get to this point. If you have the same charge, same number of atoms on each side, you've done it correctly. If not, you need to go back and check your work. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus SO2 yields Mn2 plus plus HSO4 minus. Thanks for watching.